So yeah, this is the head-to-head -head trial called Hermes um, that compares uh, topiramate versus erinumab. Um, and what are the characteristics? We recruited patients with episodic and with chronic migraine. The sample size is above 800 patients, randomized one-to-one -one, either into erinumab or into um, topiramate. It's a double-blind, double-dummy study. So every patient receives tablets and an injection. And in one group, it's active erinumab with topiramate placebo, and in the other group, it's topiramate active drug with an injection injectable placebo. Um, um, patients have a baseline phase to record their migraine days. Um, we enroll patients up to three treatment failures um, of first-line treatments like beta blockers, uh, amitriptyline, um, and flunarizine, and of course, all patients in this trial uh, could not have been experienced with topiramate or with erinumab. Uh, so both naive to these drugs. Um, after randomization, we uptitrate uh, topiramate up to six weeks. Also, the placebo is uptitrated. And uh, the aim is to receive a dose, to, to go to a dose of 100 milligrams topiramate. Uh, however, after reaching the 50 milligram level, patients uh, could stop to uptitrate. If you had side effects, you could stay on the dose at 50 or 75 milligram. You didn't need to uptitrate to 100, but you could not reduce the dose. So if you had reached uh, a dose of 75 milligrams and you felt you had too many adverse events, there was only the choice to stay on 75 milligram or to drop out. And so reduction of drug was not allowed. And after the first six weeks of the titration, then patients were on a stable dose of Amovic, uh, Erinumab, or Topiramate for another four months. And uh, the primary endpoint is the tolerability, so the dropout rates during the trial in both groups. But secondary endpoints also uh, include, of course, efficacy of both drugs.